Hello students, today we will talk about uh, isometric view of a hexagonal prism. So let me write the question first. Draw isometric view of a hexagonal prism whose base is of 25 mm and height is 50 mm in the previous lecture I talked about how to draw the hexagon so in the second question if you have to draw isometric view of a hexagonal prism first of all you need to draw the hexagon by following the similar procedure we have discussed in the previous lecture so I took same side of the prism as that of the side of the hexagon we took in the last lecture so follow the same procedure and draw the hexagon first after that what you need to do you need to enclose this hexagon inside the box so how we will enclose the hexagon inside the box first of all align your scale with this side of the hexagon and extend this side on both sides with a thin line then place your scale at this corner of the hexagon and draw a horizontal line similarly align your scale with this particular side of the hexagon and extend it on both sides with the help of thin line place your scale at this corner of the hexagon then draw another horizontal line so you see in this manner we are able to enclose this particular hexagon inside a box so erase the extensions and label the points let us label the points of the box first let us call it as 1 2 3 4 now let us label the corners of the hexagon A B C D E F now what we need to do first first of all we need to create isometric of this box 1 2 3 4 1 so for that what do you need to do use your scale align your scale with this grid and draw a line of around 3 to 4 centimeters choose one dot on that dot place your protector and on both sides of that dot draw two lines at 30 degrees now join these to get two axes we call these axes as isometric axes keep these lines thin and at the start you can draw any length now what we need to do next let us assume the first point of the box one over here so let us call this as one so we will measure this side of the box with the help of compass and we will cut that length on this side of the axis and then we will measure the side 1 4 of the box with the help of compass and we will cut this length on left side on left axis so let us first measure this side 1 2 and cut on the right axis measure this side 1 4 and cut on the left axis So let us label these points. This is point 2, this is point 4. Now, after 2, the next side is 2, 3. So measure this side 2, 3. And from 2, mark that arc. Similarly, measure side 4, 3. And from 4, mark another arc. Now join these points with thin line you will get isometric of the box 1 2 3 4 let us label this as point number 3 so next step is create isometric of this particular hexagon inside this box so what is the method you see we have a side 1 to here and 1 to here so measure this distance 1a from this diagram 
measure one a and cut here one a similarly for this length measure two b and mark from two measure three c it will be equal to two b only so mark from three then measure 4d from 4 between 3 and 4 d lies so between 3 and 4 from point 4 mark d then on side 1 4 we have two points f e measure 1 f first and mark from 1 then you see 4 e will be similar distance so mark from 4 f 4 e sorry so let us label these points A, B, C, D, E, F. Now what we will do? We will join these points with the help of thin line at the start. Keep everything thin because when you will draw the isometric of the hexagonal prism, you will find that few sides will be hidden. So we have to keep those sides thin. So at the start, try to draw everything thin. So in this manner we are able to get the base of the hexagonal prism. Now what we have to do? We have two options. Either you can raise these four corners of the box and you will generate another box at the top. Inside that box you will repeat the same procedure. So that is the first method. Second method is from these points you can raise vertical lines equal to height of the hexagon 50 when you will join those points at the top you will again get the hexagonal prism but i suggest you that you should follow the first method means raise these four corners of the box equal to height of the hexagon so from corner number one draw a vertical line equal to height which is 50 so 50 will be here then from corner four again draw a vertical line equal to 50 but make sure your scale should be perfectly aligned with the grid from 3 as well so over here I am getting a little problem I am short of space so I am going to change the height of the hexagonal prism let us say height is 40 so what I will do I will uh, draw all the vertical lines to 40 only because I'm, I have insufficient space at the top so it is another lesson to learn that whenever you draw such drawings you must plan your space at the start so this is 40 so from here as well take 40 millimeters so 40 will be somewhere here then from corner 2 vertical line of 40 millimeters then at the top we will join these points with the help of thin lines again in this manner we will get isometric of the box first ok fine so now this is first corner so let us label this as first again this is second third and fourth repeat the similar step at the top as well so what you will do measure 1a from here and mark at this edge between 1 and 2 between 2 and 3 between 2 and 3 there are two points b and c so measure 2b and mark here 2b similarly from 3 3c then measure 4D and at the top mark again 4D. Then between 3 and 4, sorry 1 and 4, 1 and 4 we have 1F, 4E. So measure 1F, 1F and 4E are same. So measure 1 distance and mark from 1 and then from 4. So in this manner we have generated again 6 points. Join these points. With the help of thick lines because we know the top face of the hexagon will be completely visible in its isometric view 
so let us make it thick in the first attempt only okay so now label this this hexagon as well a a b b c c then d d e e now join the similar edges f f so join f to f this edge will be visible so keep it thick join e to e this edge is also visible so draw it thick then a edge will be visible draw it thick then join B to B, this edge is also visible, draw it thick. Now you see, there is no need to join C to C because this edge is hidden behind face F, this face. And no need to join D to D as well because this edge is also hidden behind top face and this side face. So just to make the bottom edges thick. Now you see we are ready with the isometric view of the hexagon. So at the end we have to place dimensions. So what we need to do, we need to place the side and we need to place the height. So for height what you will do, align your scale with the, this isometric axis and leave one m gap here and draw extension line. Line with this axis, one m gap here and draw extension line. Then use your roller scale or use this column of the grid and draw dimension line here and place 3 ratio 1 arrowheads on both sides of the dimension line and place its height over here we considered its height as 40 millimeters so after this we should place its uh, base edge also so you will use your roller scale align your roller scale with this isometric axis roll to this point F and draw thin extension line then roll to point E draw thin extension line Make sure these extension lines must be parallel to this isometric axis. Then align your roller scale with this particular edge, roll back by some distance and draw dimension line. Add two arrowheads here and place its base edge which is 25 mm. Make sure that this distance should be approximately minimum distance should be uh, approximately 15 millimeters. So erase the extra lines then at the end what we need to do we need to place the angles so this is 30 degree and on the other side as well place 30 degree angle. So this is the final answer. If you uh, One more thing to understand here that when you draw isometric view of a hexagonal prism or pentagonal prism then in that case this step is necessary first of all you have to draw pentagon or hexagon first then you have to enclose that inside the box first of all make the isometric of the box inside that box generate the hexagon then raise all the four sides of the box and join those at the top to create isometric of the box then again at the top face of the box draw the hexagon again by following same steps then join the similar edges to get the final view. I hope this lecture will help you to understand how to draw isometric view of a hexagonal prism. Thank you very much.